What up everybody, in a previous video Jason Rodriguez commented rebuild the Buccaneers so today we're going to do a three year rebuild of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with all the new draft picks. The draft just happened, this is the first rebuild I'm doing since the draft has happened. I got an updated roster that I'm trying out with all the draft picks and the free agent moves so we're going to see how this goes. This is what the starting lineup is looking like. We do have all the rookies from last year are still going to be showing as hidden devs because it's a manually updated roster with the draft picks and everything. So we're going to have these are going to be the rookies from last year. And then we also have the rookies from this draft class that just happened this past weekend, like Bucky Irving, 72 overall with normal dev. So they're all going to be rookies at the same time. That's the only way that we can make it happen. Also, Graham Barton here at center, first round draft pick, 73 overall. It's got a star dev because I gave it to him. All the other, like every single rookie that's in this uh, roster all has normal dev. So I felt, I felt like I should give at least Graham Barton star dev since he's a first round pick, but I'm not giving any of the other rookies any type of dev trade. They're just sticking on normal. We got Baker Mayfield at quarterback. He's a 79 overall hidden dev. He signed a three year, $100 million deal to come back to the Buccaneers. We'll see how that contract does and see if he develops. If not, we could move on from him. Rashad White at running back 80 with star. Like I said, we got Bucky Irvin, 72 with normal dev. Mike Evans coming back, 91 with X Factor. He resigned in real life. Chris Godwin's went to 85 with uh, Superstar. I'm going to leave Trey Palmer in the slot. He's a 73 with normal dev. We do have McMillan here who just got drafted, but he's only a 68 with normal dev. I'm going to leave him like that. K Dot in that tight end, 75 with normal. Gadecki at right tackle, 78 with normal. I moved Bredesen to left guard because he's a 67 overall and he's 25 years old. And Opeta is 66 overall and he's like 27 years old. So we really need to try to develop the interior of this offensive line. Tristan Wirfs at left tackle, 95 overall superstar dev. Defensively, they did draft Chris Braswell. He's a 74 overall with no more dev. I'm going to leave him like that and I'm going to start him over Randy Gregory, who is a 73 with star. I want to try to develop the rookies here. Got Levante David at middle linebacker, 90 with X Factor. Britt, middle linebacker, 271 with normal dev. Tryon Choyinka, outside linebacker, 75 with star. Antoine Winfield Jr., 92 with star. Whitehead, 78 with normal dev as the other safety. At cornerback, we got Jamel Dean, 87 with star. Thomas in the slot, 73 with normal. Or should I go with Izzy? And uh, I don't know, I'll figure that out in a minute. Hall, cornerback, 2, 74 with star. We do have Cansey at defensive end, but he's injured. Apparently, he got injured in the preseason because I simulated to the start of week one. 77 with hidden dev. Vita Vea at defensive tackle is a 91 with superstar. And I moved Gaines from defensive tackle to defensive end just to get our best guys on the field. He's a 71 with star. Looking at the schemes, we are 83% uh, scheme fit at the West Coast zone run, which is the highest scheme fit that we have. And I'm switching the offensive playbook to the Atlanta Falcons. It's a West Coast zone run, and it's one of the best offensive playbooks in Madden simulation. The Atlanta Falcons make it to the Super Bowl in like the second or third year every single time. Sticking to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defensive playbook, it's a 3-4 scheme, and we're at 95% scheme fit. Going to be using auto-generated draft classes for the entire rebuild. And for our scouts right now, i got cornerback as a number one three-tier scout here. It looks like it's going to be cornerback, wide receiver, and defensive end. Oh, this is the strength of this class, so that's what we're focusing on. I know wide receiver is probably not a, a huge need at the moment, but... Mike Evans is getting up there in age and who knows how long he's going to be around. He could retire. He could start regressing pretty quick. Here at week two, we are one and one. We got a breakout opportunity for a linebacker. Let's see. Hopefully it's going to be for Braswell and it is nice. Man, if we can get him to jump up to start dev, that would be huge in the first year of this rebuild. We ended up beating the Eagles 31 to 17. Hopefully that means we got this dev trade upgrade. I won't speak for anyone else on the team, but I'm pretty happy with my performance out this week. You know how elite players always say the game started to slow down for me. Yeah, I finally understand what that means. We got a dev trade upgrade for Chris Braswell, 5,000 XP. Let's go. Here at the midseason point, we're off to a great start. We are currently five and one, leading the division. The Panthers are four and two. The Falcons are four and three, and the Saints are two and five. So a pretty competitive division so far. Looks like we got a lot of stuff going on here. We got a weekly award after beating the Falcons 28 to 10. Let's see what that's going to be for. It's going to be Chris Braswell. Dang, dude had two sacks, seven tackles. He might have a might be having us an X factor outside linebacker here in another season or two. We also have a breakout opportunity for a defensive lineman. Let's see what that's going to be for. Gains. Wouldn't it be bad to get him up to superstar. I think he's a star dev already. 
Looking at players available to re-sign. We got 27 million in cap room. There's really not anyone over here that I'm interested in re-signing. We have a fifth year option for Tryon Shoyinka that we'll have to mess with later. We did beat the Bills 14 to seven. Let's see if we got this breakout opportunity for Gaines. And he got it. He's jumped up to superstar dev. Uh, 2000 XP for the boy. End of the regular season, we finished 12 and five and somehow we lost to the Panthers in the division. They also went 12 and five, so they won the division. The Falcons went nine and eight and the Saints went eight and nine. It looks like week 18, we lost to the Panthers 28 to seven. So that decided the division. Can't believe the Panthers did so well. Check out the season stats. We had the 28th ranked offense, not good. Defensively ranked 16th. Baker Mayfield, 3,100 yards passing, 25 touchdowns, four interceptions, 64% completion with a 103 rating. Not a bad season at all. Rashad White, 1,294 yards rushing, 4.1 per carry with seven touchdowns. Baker Mayfield had five rushing touchdowns, touchdowns and then Bucky Irving, 10 rushing touchdowns. That's crazy. Only three and a half yards per carry. Mike Evans, the most receiving yards, 919 with six touchdowns. Chris Godwin, 913 with nine touchdowns. K. Dotton, 600 yards, seven touchdowns. Trey Palmer, 350 yards, two touchdowns. Levante David led the team in tackles with 103, and KJ Britt had 94. Tryon Schwink had 14 tackles for loss. Gaines had 13. Vita Vea had 12, and Braswell had 11. Sacks, Chris Braswell, the rookie, led the team with 11. That's good to see. Schwink had eight. Vita Vea, six and a half. Gaines had five and a half. Interceptions, David had three. Winfield Jr. had three, and then Shoyinka, Britt, Hall, Whitehead, and Dean all had one interception. We're going to be playing against the 10 and 7 49ers in the wild card round of the playoffs. It's probably going to be a pretty tough game. We also have the Panthers got a number one seed, well, the Eagles against the Falcons, and then the Packers against the Cowboys. Unfortunately, we lost to the 49ers 35 to 13. Let's see what happened. Brock Purdy had a 135 rating with two touchdowns, and. Baker Mayfield, I guess he got injured because Wolf, well, he only threw like one pass, so maybe he came in because we were losing so bad. Baker Mayfield, 65 rating, that's pretty bad. 166 yards, one touchdown, one interception. He got sacked four times. Rushing yards, Christian McCaffrey got a crazy game. Of course he did. Receiving Ayuk, 100 yards with two touchdowns. Dang, Palmer, Evans, Godwin. No one had any touchdowns, so K. Dotton had one tight end. Defensively, Levante David had 12 tackles. Chris Braswell had nine. Anybody got any sacks here besides the 49ers? Vita Vea got one. Interceptions, Kyle Fuller for the 49ers got one. The 49ers beat the Jets in the Super Bowl, 28 to 21. Surprise Super Bowl appearance by the Jets here. Brock Purdy won Super Bowl MVP. Patrick Mahomes MVP of the regular season with the Chiefs. Robert Sala, coach of the year with the Jets. Jalen Hurts, offensive player of the year with the Eagles. Michael Parsons, defensive player of the year with the Cowboys. And then it says Rasheed Rice and Byron Young won the rookies of the year. They're not necessarily rookies, but that's what we have to deal with. Huge retirement here on the defense. Middle linebacker Levante David retiring after 12 years. We have 35 million in cap room. I'm not going to pick up the fifth year option for Tryon Shoyinka. I think we'll be able to get him cheaper. Just trying to re-sign him after the end of this next season. Everyone else, I'm moving on from them. It's only like four other dudes. This is what the team was looking like before free agency and the draft. Baker Mayfield, he's at 83 overall, so has normal dev. We could potentially use a third receiver, but Trey Palmer's not terrible. Offensive line, we need to do something on left guard. Cody Mock had hit and dead, but I guess he lost it. He's down to normal dev, 69 overall. Definitely need to try to look at guards, potentially. Cotton went up to star dev, nice, 78 overall. Defensively, what the hell happened to Gaines? Dude had superstar dev. He's all the way down to normal dev. That doesn't make any sense at all, Madden. What the heck? I'm gonna have to go in here and mess with this real quick. All right, well, I went in there and I changed him back to star dev. I mean, he did have superstar dev, but he's already 28 years old, so I guess I could see how they would move him down to star since he's only a 74 overall. Vita Vea at defensive tackle is down to star dev. Cancy's a star. We need to do something at middle linebacker because Levante David just retired. Got a huge hole there for sure, and we definitely need to do something at slot corner here. As far as free agency goes, I'm only getting two players. I'm getting a middle linebacker, Landon Roberts. He's a 77 overall, 30 years old with no more dev. And also getting right guard, Cesar Ruiz. He's a 74 overall, star dev, 25 years old. The rest of the free agency class for the team needs that we had were not looking so great. 
Here we are in the first round of the draft. We have pick number 23. I got a cornerback here. As you can see, 100% scouted. He's a true top five guy. Definitely can't pass that up when we're all the way down in the 23rd pick. His name is Manny Kent from Virginia. 6'1", 203 pounds. He's a man-to-man -man scheme fit. 22 years old. He has solid acceleration, solid agility, good change of direction, solid jumping, great speed, solid speed. I mean strength, my bad. <laughs> He has B zone coverage, A man coverage, A hit power with B awareness. He's got hit and dead with 94 speed. Let's go. Second round, I'm gonna draft this center, Kareem Kerr from Oklahoma. He's 6'2", 303 pounds. He's an agile scheme fit. I'll probably move him to left guard or right guard. I got him 90% uh, scouted, so that's the reason I'm gonna draft him. Looks like he's gonna be pretty decent. 23 years old, so he's a little bit older, but he has elite acceleration, elite agility, great jumping, great change of direction, good speed, good strength. He's got A awareness, A lead block. His pass block is only a C, but he does have A pass block finesse, A run block, A run block finesse. He's got hidden dev, 87 strength, nice. Third round, I'm gonna take a chance on this middle linebacker because we need to try to get younger there. His name is Terrell Starling from Clemson, 6'2", 232 pounds. He's a field general scheme fit. Only got him 50% scouted, so I'm really taking a chance. He's 22 years old. Great acceleration, solid agility, solid change of direction, decent jumping with great speed and marginal strength. He has B hit power, B play reg, B pursuit, A zone coverage, his tackles, which are going to be in the D. He's got normal dead with 89 speed. Damn, dude, is quick. Fourth round, I'm going to take this free safety, Joe Wake from Army. He's 5'9", 206 pounds. He's a zone scheme fit. Just taking a chance on him because he has a chance to have B and A and a few things here. He has solid acceleration, good agility, good change of direction with solid speed. He has a chance to have A zone coverage, B awareness. He's got normal dead with 87 speed. I simulated the rest of the draft picks in the first round we took a cornerback. He's actually a 77 overall. That's pretty good. He was supposed to be a true top five talent. 22 years old. He has hidden dev. 94 speed with 81 man coverage and 78 zone coverage. Love to see it. In the second round we took a center, Kareem Kerr. He was actually a 73 overall, but I just moved him to left guard and it bumped him up to a 75 overall. So he's gonna be starting for us right away. Hidden dev, 23 years old. He has 87 strength, 79 run block with 72 pass block. In the third round, we took a middle linebacker, and surprisingly, he's actually a 74 overall. I didn't expect him to be that high. He only has no more dev, but I'll probably just go ahead and start him right away because we need to get younger at this middle linebacker position. He has 89 speed, and he has 85 tackles, so the dude is a fast tackling mo flow. He's got 80 hit power with 77 awareness already. Number one pick in the draft was a left tackle by the Patriots. He's only a 74 overall. Let's see what the highest in the whole class is. 80 overall wide receiver to the Dolphins. Yeah, because the Dolphins really need that 79 overall safety. Let's see. In the third round, the Raiders got him outside linebacker. That was a 76 overall. Nice. This is what the starting lineup is looking like for season two. Mayfield at quarterbacks at 81 with normal dev. Hoping he can have a better year here. I'm going to stick with the Falcons offensive playbook since we made it to the playoffs. Maybe he can do a little bit better. Rashad White at running backs at 83 with star dev. Mike Evans, our number one wide receiver, is a 90 with X Factor. Trey Palmer in the slots, 75 with normal. Godwin's at 86 with superstar. K Dotton's a 77 with star. Gadecki is a 79 with normal at right tackle. We brought Ruiz in in free agency at right guard, 74 with star. Barton's a 77 with star at center. We drafted Kerr in the second round. He's a 75 with hit and dev. He's going to be starting for us at left guard. Tristan Wirth is a 96 with superstar. Defensively, we're going to be starting Starling as our middle linebacker too. He's a 74 with normal dev. Roberts a 78 with normal dev coming over in free agency. Braswell a 77 with star and Choi Inc is a 77 with star. Winfield at safety is a 94 with star. Whitehead is a 79 with normal dev at strong safety. We have Jamel Dean, our number one corner, 88 with star. Hall drops down to the slot, 75 with star because we drafted Kent. In the first round, he's a 77 with hidden dev. Canty's an 80 with star. Beat of A is a 92 with star. And Gaines is a 74 with star. Outing, we do have like three or four quarterbacks. We're supposed to go in the top 10, I think. And I'm definitely going to be trying to scout a quarterback because I don't know if Baker Mayfield's going to be the answer. So we're going quarterback, quarterback, cornerback, defensive end, and defensive end. 
at the midseason point, things are going terrible. We are one in five. Panthers are four and three. The Falcons are three and four, and the Saints are actually doing worse than this. They're one and six. I'm gonna go check out the season stats real quick and see what the heck is going on. Baker Mayfield's not doing so great. He's got an 88 rating, six touchdowns, four interceptions. Rashad White's doing pretty bad. Three and a half yards per carry, only three touchdowns. I think I need to go ahead and change the offensive playbook because the Falcons playbook's not getting it done. We're switching to the Dallas Cowboys offensive playbook. It's one of the best West Coast zone run playbooks in Madden simulation. So let's see if it can save us this season. We have 117 million available in cap room. Tristan Wirfs, 96 overall, superstar, left tackle. Definitely want to try to bring him back. I'm going to bump him up to a player friendly deal. He's getting like 30 million a year. Dang, I didn't realize it was that much, but we, I mean, he's worth it for sure. Chris Godwin, a wide receiver, 87 overall, superstar dev. I do want to try to bring him back. It doesn't look like he has a ton of interest, though. Even though I wasn't looking to return, this offer is getting real tempting. So he hasn't signed yet. Shoyanka, probably wait till the end of the season and see how he does. Bryce Hall, he has a ton of interest. He's still 26 years old, 76 overall with star dev. He's coming back. Ruiz at right guard, 75 overall star dev. Still pretty young. Let's go to a player friendly deal. Let's see if he'll sign. I was looking for a better fit, but I'll reconsider with more offers like this. So he's not going to sign just yet. Gaines, I want to wait until the end of the year with him. Britt, probably going to be moving on from him. Thomas, why is McMillan here? He was a, a rookie. I don't know, whatever. We're going to have to change his contract to four years. The rest of these guys. Nope. End of the regular season, we finished 3 and 14. We had a terrible year, last in the division. The Falcons won the division with a 9 and 8 record. The Panthers went 8 and 9, and the Saints went 6 and 11. Let's look at the season stats 23rd ranked offense, Baker Mayfield 13th in passing and 20th in passing touchdowns. 30th ranked defense, what the heck? Baker Mayfield 3,800 yards passing, 24 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, 94 rating. I think we're going to be drafting a quarterback. Could probably use help at running back too. Rashad White, only 911 yards, 3.7 per carry with seven touchdowns. Irving had six rushing touchdowns. Chris Godwin, 1196 yards with 12 touchdowns. Dude had a crazy year. Mike Evans, another 1,000 yard season. Trends him out every year of his career. Three touchdowns. Otten, 679 yards, four touchdowns. Palmer, 600 yards with three touchdowns. Defensively, Roberts had 126 tackles along with the rookie Starling. They both had 126. That's great production from the rookie. Tackles for loss, Braswell had 20. Nice. Vea had 14. Gaines had 14. But Braswell only had six sacks and that led the entire team. That's not good. Four and a half for Diaby. Two for Shoyinka. Three for Vea, Vita Vea and two for Gaines. Let's see. Kent, two interceptions. The rookie top five pick. Starling had one. So two rookies here has interceptions for us. Winfield had one, Hall had one, and Dean had one. The Chiefs beat the Eagles in the Super Bowl 38 to 17. Patrick Mahomes won Super Bowl MVP. Lamar Jackson won MVP of the regular season with the Ravens. Nick Sirianni coach of the year with the Eagles. Lamar Jackson offensive player of the year with the Ravens. TJ Watt defensive player of the year with the Steelers. And then the Dolphins wide receiver JT Thomas that they got highest overall in the whole entire rookie class. He won offensive rookie of the year. We have 96 million available in cap room. Chris Godwin, 87 overall. He's up to X Factor now. He has like no interest in coming back though. So I'm gonna have to offer him some ridiculous deal. Player friendly deal, let's see if he takes it. He wants to go to a new team. How much is it to franchise tag him? One year, 28 million, wow. We're gonna hold off on that for just a minute and see if we need to spend any other money. Shoyinka, I think I'm gonna move on from him because he's not doing good. Ruiz is down to normal dev. Still a 76 overall though. I'm gonna offer him player friendly deal, but let's go with three years and see if he takes it. He's coming back. All right. We got 90 million left. Greg Gaines probably moving on from him. KJ Britt moving on. Anybody else over here? I think we're gonna be good. Let's go back. I'm just gonna go ahead and franchise tag Chris Godwin. 
we got the money so might as well 28 million is not that bad i mean it's a lot but there's receivers out there making like 30 million right now in real life this is what the team is looking like before free agency and the draft i definitely want to get a new quarterback it should be pretty easy to do that since we had one of the worst records in the nfl i'm not sure what pick we have we might even have the number one pick probably need to do something at wide receiver offensive line is not looking bad we could probably try to do something at running back and free agency or something because shot white not doing so great defensively could use another middle linebacker roberts has a negative three morale well i guess it would be a 77 overall so we could go with that definitely need to get us an elite pass rusher outside linebacker and maybe another defensive end unless we just roll with hall agency i'm getting wide receiver rashid shaheed to give us an upgrade in the slot he's 81 overall with normal dev 27 years old and he's a scheme fit also getting outside linebacker josh sweat he's 81 overall star dev scheme fit and then i'm getting defensive tackle oso diggy zua i want to move him to defensive end 6'2, 280 pounds he'll fit good for us in the 3-4 defensive end spot 80 overall with normal dev and he's a scheme fit here in the first round of the draft, we have the second pick overall. The Commanders had the number one pick, and they drafted a defensive end because they still have Jaden Daniels at quarterback. So we got lucky, and we're going to draft this quarterback, Jeffrey Cody. He's a true top five talent. Got him 100% scouted from Missouri. He's 6'2", 230 pounds. He's an improviser. 23 years old. He has great acceleration, great agility, elite change of direction, good jumping, elite throw power. He's got a lot of A's. He's got hit and dead with 96 throw power and 79 speed. Here in the second round, I'm going to draft this defensive end, Antoine Gilmore from Florida. He's 6'6", 300 pounds. He's a run stopper. 100% scout. He's a true first round talent in the second round. Can't pass that up. 22 years old. He has great acceleration, good change of direction with elite strength. He's got a bunch of A's here. He only has normal dead with 92 strength third round i'm gonna take a chance on this running back adrian conrad from florida state he's 5'10 224 pounds he's a power back we could try to use an upgrade there at the running back position he's 21 years old solid acceleration elite jumping with solid speed and good strength he's got a hidden dev that's a good start 90 speed i simulated the rest of the draft picks we took quarterback jeffrey cody in the first round number two overall he's a 78 overall Hidden Dev, 23 years old, 96 throw power, 87 deep accuracy, 78 medium and 86 short, 77 awareness, 79 speed. Might have to go ahead and change to the Kansas City Chiefs offensive playbook because we might have Patrick Mahomes 2.0. In the second round, we took defensive end Antoine Gilmore. He's a 74 overall, normal Dev, 22 years old. He has 68 power moves, 63 finesse moves with 72 speed. 82 tackle 92 strength third round we got a running back adrian conrad from florida state he's a 72 overall he does have hidden dev 21 years old he has 77 break tackle with 90 speed 90 acceleration with 86 agility 71 catching so he can't actually catch the ball number one pick in the entire draft was outside linebacker that went to the commanders he's only a 73 overall Highest in the whole class, 78 overall, and there's three of them. We got one, which was our quarterback, and then there's a corner, 78 overall, and then another corner, 78 overall, and then there's a pretty big drop off after that, going down to 76 overall. I'm changing all the playbooks here on offense. We're going with the Kansas City Chiefs, which is a West Coast power run, so we're dropping down to a 60% scheme fit, but we got to do some drastic changes here. And then defensively, I'm switching to Atlanta's 3 4 playbook. We're at 92%. This is what the starting lineup is looking like for the third and final season. We got a rookie quarterback, 79 overall with hidden dead. We do still have Baker Mayfield on the team in the last year of his deal, so he'll just be the backup for us. 81 overall with no more dev. Shot White's up to 84 with star. And we got Conrad backing him up, 72 with hidden dev. Mike Evans is an 88 with X Factor. Godwin's an 87 with X Factor. We brought in Shahid in the slot from free agency, 81 overall with uh, no more dev. Tristan Wirfs, 97 with superstar left tackle. Curves a 78 with star. Barton's a 79 with star. Ruiz is a 76 with normal. Kadecki's a 80 with normal. And then K. Dotton's a 79 with star at tight end. Defensively, we brought in Osa Odigizua in free agency. He's an 80 with uh, normal dev. B. De Bay is a 93 with star. Canty's an 81 with star. Jamel Dean's an 88 with star. Hall's a 77 with normal dev in the slot. And Kent is an 81 with star. 
Whitehead's 81 with no more strong safety. Braswell's up to 80 with Star. Sweat, we brought in a free agency. He's 81 with Star. We do have Starling as our number one middle linebacker. He's out for one week. 76 with Star Dev. And then Roberts is 77 with no more Dev. Winfield Jr., free safety, 95 with Star. At the midseason point, we're off to a great start. We are 6-1, leading the division. The Panthers are 4-3, the Falcons are 3-4, and, and the Saints are 0-7, simulating set of playoffs. End of the regular season, we finished 14-3, won the division. The Panthers went 11-6, Falcons went 9-8, and, and the Saints went 2-15. We just beat the Vikings 31-28. We got a weekly award. Who is it for? It is for Chris Godwin. Dude had 11 catches, 281 yards with three touchdowns receiving. That is insane. We have the number one ranked offense. Cody had the most passing yards with 5,000 and first and passing touchdowns in the 10th ranked defense. We found a cheat code here, I guess. Jeffrey Cody, 5,001 yards passing, 48 touchdowns as a rookie with 10 interceptions, 68% completion with a 118 rating. Dude just stepped on the scene, balling out. Rashad White, not bad, 1,000 yards, 4.1 per carry with 7 touchdowns. Conrad, 7 touchdowns, only 2.9 per carry. Receiving, Chris Godwin, dude, look at 91 catches, almost 1,700 yards with 25 freaking touchdowns. Kato on that tight end, 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns. Mike Evans, 800 yards, 7 touchdowns. Shahid, 750 yards, 3 touchdowns. Offense is looking nasty. Starling on defense had the most tackles with 109. Roberts had 97. Tackles for loss, Vita Vea had 20. Sweat had 14. Braswell had 12. Vita Vea led the team in sacks with 9. Braswell had 8. Sweat had 6. Odigi Zua had 4. It's hoping we get a little bit more sack production, but that's all right. Jamel Dean had 3 interceptions. Whitehead had 3. Starling had 1 along with Roberts, Hall, Winfield and Sainra still. We had a first round bye week in the playoffs and now we're gonna be playing against the nine and eight Atlanta Falcons, our division rival. They just beat the Seahawks 31 to 21. On the other side, we have the Packers against the Cowboys. We ended up beating the Falcons 28 to 14. We're gonna be playing against the 10 and seven Cowboys in the NFC championship. They beat the Panthers 38 to 21. Then they beat the Packers 35 to 21. On the other side, we have the Chargers against the Dolphins. We beat the Cowboys 35 to 28, so we made it to the Super Bowl. We're gonna be playing against the Dolphins that just beat the Chargers 28 to 17. Somehow we lost to a number seven seed Miami Dolphins in the Super Bowl 17 to 14 in a pretty close game. Tua had a 115 rating with 200 yards and one touchdown, no interceptions. Cody had a 114 rating, 236 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Both the quarterbacks played pretty decently. Rashad White, 79 yards. A Chain had 49. K Dot, 92 uh, receiving yards. Galvin had 69 with the touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 65 with the touchdown. Shahid had 32 yards with one touchdown. Defensively, Braswell had two and a half sacks in the Super Bowl. Dude is a star, man. Siler had two and a half. Starling had a half. Interceptions, no, nobody had any. Jordan Brooks won Super Bowl MVP for the Dolphins, and our boy Jeffrey Cody won MVP of the regular season with the Buccaneers as a rookie. That is insane, man. Zach Taylor, coach of the year with the Bengals. Chris Godwin, offensive player of the year with the Buccaneers with those 25 receiving touchdowns. TJ Watt, defensive player of the year with the Steelers. Jeffrey Cody also won offensive rookie of the year with the Buccaneers. That's a given if you won MVP. Darnell Hunt, defensive rookie of the year with the Chargers. No idea who that is. This is what the final team is looking like. Cody stepped on the scene as a boss beast mode straight out the game as a rook, man. He's already up to a 94 overall, but he does have a plus seven overall boost. So he's actually more like a 80, what is that, 87? Yeah, 87 overall with superstar dev. Baker Mayfield, 78 with normal. Rashad White, 86 with star. Godwin's a 94 with X Factor. Shahid's 83 with normal. Evans, 87 with star. K Dotton's up to superstar. He's at 84. Kadeki's at 82 with normal. Ruiz is at 80 with normal. Barton's up to 84 with star. Kerr's at 82 with star. Tristan Wirth's up to 99 with superstar. Defensively, Vita Vea went up back up to superstar. He's at 92. Odigi is at 82 with normal. Kansi is at 85 with star. Kent's our number one corner. He's at 85 with star. Oh, never mind. Jamel Dean is injured. 91 with superstar. 
and then Hall's a 78 with normal in the slot. Whitehead jumped up to star, Deb is 84, Braswell's 84 with star, Roberts 78 with normal, Starling 80 with star, Sweat 81 with star, and Winfield's up to superstar with 98 overall. Overall, it was a pretty good rebuild. Baker Mayfield had a good first season, took him to the playoffs. I mean, statistically, he wasn't great. And then the second season, the team just fell completely apart. Third season, we drafted us a quarterback. Dude came on the game like Patrick Mahomes Jr., made it to the Super Bowl as a rookie, won MVP, won Offensive Rookie of the Year, and lost in the Super Bowl. Chris Braswell actually developed pretty nicely. He was leading the team in sacks pretty much every year, or he was in the top two or three. And then Graham Barton developed pretty good too. He's 84 with star dev. But that's gonna be it for the video. If y'all like what y'all saw, please subscribe to the channel. I'm on the road to a thousand subscribers. I'm getting really close. Go ahead and like the video. That also helps the algorithm pick up the video. Try to get me some more views and more subscribers. If you have an idea or suggestion for a rebuild that has to involve the rookies that just got drafted, go ahead and comment, comment down below and I might just use that in the next video. Appreciate y'all for watching. See y'all in the next one.